Bren will attack this biofidelic head form designed to react like human flesh and bone. Okay, Bren, you ready? Yep. Okay. Three, two, one, attack! Ah, suck! Suck! Oh, holy jumping. Oh. Wow. Outsman. The strike actually shreds flesh and nearly tears the trachea out of the throat. A lethal technique. These are the deadly results of the tiger claw seen from the inside out. Tiger claw fighters actually harden their fingertips, striking hard objects repeatedly. This actually breaks the finger bones a little at a time. They're called microfractures. Cells called osteoblasts then repair the microfractures by adding calcium to the external layer of the bone, making them harder and denser over time. These impacts also tend to increase the pain threshold of the nerves in the fingers, raising the limit at which they send pain signals to the brain. Perform the tiger claw strike. Fingers must be solid, like claws. Because there are no muscles in human fingers, most of the work is done by the arm. With the right training, the fingers are capable of actually tearing into flesh, similar to the claws of a tiger. It's a devastating technique. Attack! Ah, suck! There's no way in the world I think I will ever get the opportunity to use this technique on a human, and I wouldn't want to. But to be able to test this particular technique, it's invaluable. Obviously, this is a skill we hope we never have to use. But it's good to see Tiger Kung Fu is not just a flashy style, but it's an effective technique that can do some serious damage.